Hello guys, welcome to HK Tech. In this video, I will review the Viper OS 2.1 on the Moto G3. <coughs> so let's get started. This ROM is of course based on the Android 7.1.2 <coughs> and it supports the OTA updates. See, this is my Moto G3 Android version 7.1.2 Nougat. And it has its own custom kernel too. I see Linux is permissive. I have installed the dark Viper OS user interface which is pre-built with this ROM. See everything is dark. You can switch the themes anytime. Let's head up to Venom, Room Features and Customizations. These are the stock customizations which come with almost every ROM. Let it be a Resurrection Remix, AOSP Extended or Viper OS or anything. Everything is same, the customizations are same. But one thing which I found unique in this ROM is the theme resources. See, device theme, light and viper dark. This is the stock white theme. See the stock white theme and now viper dark. We can you can switch it anytime. Dynamic notification tile, these things are dynamic and etc. Use for dark themes, nothing about these customizations. Well, this ROM is real smooth and it's very fast too. It's amazing Spider-Man 2 and Smash It, Mini Militia etc. run flawlessly. Dream League Soccer, Clash of Clans, everything runs flawlessly. I will show you some customizations in this ROM. Another thing which I like in some recent ROMs which come now is the Substrata Magisk Manager. Come here right into the settings automatically once you install them. And you don't even have to install them as system apps. Let's see how much storage its Android usage. How much storage the system uses. Calculating the system uses just 2.75 GB, which is completely normal. Now, head up to this Venom quick settings, header image, and header image pack, etc. Omni Jaws is also available. Brightness slider, edit icon, multi user switch, etc. etc. Now, the status bar controls, clock and date. The stock Android system user interface tuner is tune. The stock Android system UI tuners customizations are also present here. Carrier label. Now, it's lock screen only. See, if I turn it on and lock screen a status bar, you can see Airtel here and in the top left corner. I will select lock screen only. And battery, battery icon and battery percentage inside the icon, you can see 50%. Traffic indicators, the internet speed indicators are also present. Status bar miscellaneous connections. You can select 4G here instead of LTE, which is a great 4G. Yeah, it looks cool. Weather miscellaneous notification system. Navigation bar keys can be customized. Pixel nav bar animation. The nav bar can also be tinted black, like I have done. Inbuilt in these settings. Now there is dynamic navigation navigation bar buttons.
वॉल्यूम बटन्स कस्टमाइजेशन पावर बटन एक्सेट्रा पावर मेन्यू एडवांस रिस्टार्ट कैन बी सिलेक्टेड फ्रॉम हियर इट्स नॉट अनेबल बाय डिफॉल्ट बट इट कैन बी सिलेक्टेड हियर रिस्टार्ट मेन्यू साउंड पैनल स्क्रीन शॉट एंड एयरप्लेन मोड कैन बी अवेलेबल रिसेंट स्क्रीन नाउ ग्रेड एंड कार्ड आर द टू रिसेंट साइड्स आई विल सिलेक्ट ग्रेड ओके रिस्टार्ट let's see the recents see this is the grid this doesn't look that cool so clear all location can be selected clear all round button enable disable the memory bar can also be there and you can also change its color and about and that's all about the customizations and this rom is bugless like every other almost every other moto g3 rom the gesture stock motorola gestures are present and even the moto g5 gestures like pick up to stop ringing flip for do not disturb etc are also present That's all about this ROM. Well, it's a pretty smooth ROM, and I will also provide the link in the description for this ROM. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.